Eat its biggest congregation for the biggest fish in the world. For only a few months each year, whale sharks gather off the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Like the sharks, tourists flock to the area just to catch a glimpse. We sent our John Holman out in a boat in search of the story. I'm heading to what the ancient Mayans called the Black Hole. Hobosh Island is a slither of land just off Mexico's southwest coast. In its murky waters swims the biggest fish in the world. This is it, the whale shark. It can grow up to 18 meters. It's got 300 teeth. It dwarfs the great white, and I'm here to go swimming with it. For only two months each year, it comes to feed on the plankton floating around Holbosch, and hordes of tourists follow in its wake. The island we're stepping onto is little more than a sand dune, and to protect it from the influx of visitors, residents have taken an unusual step, banning tarmac and cars. So in Holbosch, the golf cart is king of the road. So these are the keys to my new toy. Locals have also decided against big resorts. The aim is to balance the tourist dollar and the natural environment. After soaking it up, it's time for the main attraction. Let me show you. First, I have some technical questions for my trusted guide, Nubi. One thing that worries me slightly is the whale shark has this huge, <laughs> huge mouth. Has anyone yeah. ever been swallowed by accident? <laughs> no, <laughs> not here. <laughs> right. No. I later discovered that Nubi had never actually been in the water with the whale shark. Happily oblivious of that, a motley crew from Italy, France and Mexico set off. After some serious seasickness, we have our first sighting. Obviously, they're sort of gentle giants and they don't eat people, but when you see all those fins going around like that... Mm, it's like something out of Jaws. Mexican tourist Irma is keen to go in first. My plan is to see if she makes it out again. It was beautiful, but they go too fast. It's hard to catch, to catch on. So it was a great, great first dive. Too late to turn back. It comes out of nowhere. A huge ghost rising from the depths. No one knows for sure where the whale sharks go or how long they live for. Despite its size, it remains a mystery. I wonder if it's bothered by the stick insect frantically paddling alongside it. it seems unconcerned. The only danger is from its huge tail. With one graceful swoop, it disappears into the depth. It's incredible. Yeah. It's a great experience. I mean, oh. it's nothing like I've seen before. It's, they're huge. It seems to be more scared of us than we are of, yeah. of them. Hopefully oh. we don't scare them enough to go away forever. That does seem a real possibility. Ever-increasing numbers of tourists are arriving to swim with the whale shark. And Mexican investors have plans to cash in with a major resort. Yeah. People are, uh, Many locals, like Nubi, are worried that this fragile island well won't done. be able to cope. It's going to be like uh, big buildings for, uh, you know, uh, rich people. And we don't, we are not prepared for that. Even for, you know, for the birds that we are watching now, uh, they don't want to have a place to, you know, to rest and to reproduce. We drift back to port, watching the wildlife on the shore, while beneath us, the whale sharks meander and feed. As long as they continue to visit Holbosch, so will tourists, with all the benefits and potential dangers they bring. John Holman, CCTV, Holbosch.